Thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Vulcan Report. This end of day report is for trading on Thursday, September the 7th. I'm sorry, I said September the 7th. July the 7th, 2016. All right, you can see this is a chart of the U.S. dollar index. And as you see, this U.S. dollar index has still an upward trajectory. Uh, you can see the trajectory within the last um, three hours of trading. It's straight up in the air. And this is reminiscent of another type of market. And let's take a look. Well, 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 what do we have here? We have Bitcoin. All right. So upward trajectory of the Bitcoin upward trajectory of the US dollar index when you've seen one you've seen the other here's your dollar upward trajectory here's your Bitcoin upward trajectory dollar Bitcoin so as money continues to flow out of the um, the euro and the British pound you see money going into the dollar and the Bitcoin alright so the dollars being propped up and we're still in the woes of the brexit there is another interesting chart that I wanted to show you and this here is your silver chart alright so the silver chart is actually going in the opposite direction of the US dollar index as you can see there's some profit taking going on here in the silver uh, pushed it down below that 1960 threshold and then it managed to go back up again so the thing I wanted to show you was look at this spike here you got a spike bar with a spike in volume at the same time then the market sort of corrects itself and then it can't sustain it now it's coming back off again very interesting um, chart here but I wanted to show you something else that I thought was very really interesting alright a couple things to note here on this chart first of all alright this is the daily chart of the SLV notice you have a gap here alright first gap and this gap has not been filled second gap and this gap has not been filled third gap not filled and then you have this one here so it would appear that we're starting to try to come in and fill or test this first support of this first gap so it is a situation that we could come all the way back down here to the 16 handle on the SLV building a support before we go higher again at some point these gaps need to be filled they will be filled at some point doesn't have to be right away doesn't have to be now but at some point these gaps will be filled just wanted to point that out to you likewise with your gold you got a gap here not filled then you have a gap here not filled so two major gaps the first one is here um, first one is here then the second one is here alright right now this market remains supported on the GLD at 123.90 still very well supported and we have the market coming off now on the daily chart okay these gaps are important they have to be filled looking at the longer term picture we are really locked in here on the GLD long term and the market is very well supported all the way down to the 117 and the 115 price handle so this market could sustain quite a pullback and still be in a bullish picture and I would say this is still the beginning stages of a new bull market in the precious metals when I said that before people thought I was crazy but I was saying it back down in here and now here we are up here alright here's your uh, S&P 500 as you can see the market is consolidated up here very wide trading range market doesn't know what it wants to do um, Brexit is just causing all types of confusion 
the market is still negatively pulse waving even though it's up here now it's having trouble with the 21 handle don't know what it wants to do and it is struggling can it break out is it gonna break down it doesn't know what it wants to do uh, momentum is still neutral even though we were trying to build a channel here upward channel but that's really not because it hasn't broken out so this right here doesn't even count because you're still in a negative pulse wave position similar picture with the SPY but as you can see here with the SPY uh, this bar is bullish and <coughs> excuse me one thing of note though the negative pulse wave is in a more slanted slanted trajectory so this one here could be pointing to a stronger downside overall because of the slant here negative pulse wave is at the top where it wants to try to put an end to the downward thrust but it could be in jeopardy of being shorted heavily up here pretty mixed picture to say the least in the markets because of the whole brexit situation but the overhead resistance in this market is still at uh, 211.97 in the SPY taking a look at the oil now as you can see oil got its initial breakout thrust up in here and really hasn't looked back since but it's been a slow grind though now we're sideways next breakout is at the 5167 price target uh, if it breaks out above that and then that's it's build the, enough momentum to get it to 60 alright that's where it is and it's hidden oversold right now Staying with oil, this time looking at uh, OIH, and right now this market is a similar situation. 31.27 is where we're going to mark uh, uh, the true overhead breakout resistance, and the next target will be if this can, if this market can break out, would be 35. All right, so that's the next target for this one. But as you can see, there's some selling pressure right now in this particular symbol. Remaining with the oil, ticker symbol UCO, coming off oversold, same picture. Uh, overhead right now, resistance is at the 1416 level. If it can break that, then the trend line is going to be the next target of 2174. Unfortunately, this one is still very bearish, still in the bear market camp right now, and um, probably will remain there for quite some time. All right, let's take a look at Brexit this is the British pound sterling and you can see 128.06 new low and the market is trading near that low and it is in a powerful negative uh, pulse wave and it is locking in this is the beginning stages of a lock-in um, we could see two times this range which would cause this market to drop well below par well below par if all things being equal this keeps up we're going back to the 1999 initiation of the euro when the euro first came out it was trading at 88 cents i remember the actual day where we tri where we changed over from the deutschmark to the euro currency and we changed tickers in the whole nine and the starting price was at 88 cents and as you can see, the euro today is trading, um, you know, above 110. So, at the rate this particular one is going, it's headed toward 88 cents. It's it's heading back to the uh, initial <coughs> inception of the euro, which is quite interesting. So, anyway, that's it. That's all we have time for. Uh, keep your eyes and ears open because tomorrow is the jobs numbers and all that good stuff and that could uh, paint the picture for what we can see for next week so remember bulls make money bears make money but pigs get slaughtered take what you can give nothing back and if you aren't making money in these markets you need to fire yourself immediately and hire me peace